It's an exciting time for Houston Rockets basketball. The season is coming upon us. Cue the intro. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. The Houston Rockets, this is most, one of the most exciting seasons to watch as a fan. Might be one of the most exciting since Chris Paul had joined the team. And then before that, probably when we traded for James Harden in a random night and just smuggled him away from Oklahoma City for peanuts to the dollar. And this season, you got Jalen Green with the second overall pick. You have Kevin Porter Jr. He's supposed to take another step in his progression. You got Christian Wood, fully healthy, also going to be taking another step in his progression into becoming a potential all-star or something else in this league. Then you got guys like Jay Sean Tate, who's going to be taking another step into this league. You got guys like KJ Martin, who last year showed nothing but improvement as the season went along, just kept going and growing and growing. KJ Martin should grow into something else coming into this year. Then you got Besides Jalen Green, the other three rookies, and you got Alperin Shingoon, and you got Garuba, and then you got, uh, what's his name, Jacob, Josh Christopher from Arizona State. And I'm not saying all those guys are going to be on the same team all at the same time, but I think at the end of the year, you might have that <laughs> because some of them are going to be starting in the G League. But overall, this Rockets team, let's not forget our money. Brooks is still there, the guy that just dropped um, – zillion points in his last G League game and looked absolutely amazing as a shooter for the Rockets. And then you still got the trade scenarios with John Wall, who, you know, if he wants to go to the Clippers or he wants to go somewhere else, obviously he does. But what are you going to get in return for him? Obviously, I don't think it's going to be a lot, but it's still interesting to see what can you get in return. Eric Gordon, there's been trade rumors swirling around his name and he doesn't want he understands it he need he wants to get traded but he doesn't want to you know he still likes the team still wants to be with the team that's going to be very interesting this season as well the second year step of Steven Silas and him talking about Jalen Green and Kevin Porter Jr. and how they're going to be playing in a lot of space this year. And you got Raphael Stone. And then you got these boatload of picks from the Nets. This is one of the most exciting seasons, Rocket fans. Very, very exciting. We get to see all the young guys take a next step into the future for the NBA and for the Houston Rockets. This is going to be absolute fun. You got Daniel House, who I don't really care for, and you got a bunch of others that are here, like Daniel Tice, who you signed in the offseason. You need veterans on this team. You still have DJ Augustine. They got brought in a Dante Exum, who played well in Australia in the Olympics, didn't play a single dime here last year. Still confused what happened there. Obviously, injuries is what I'm assuming. But the Houston Rockets are going to have one of the most exciting seasons this year. And I think it's going to be a step into the playoffs next year or possibly in two years. I do see it next year, though. This year, I could see them even as a play-in tournament kind of team it's going to be absolute bonkers let's get it rocket fans so that's it for today's video guys make sure to like comment subscribe hit that bell for the notice to turn on drop your comments your reactions down below in the comment section let me know what do you think about the houston rockets and all of these guys what do you think about jalen green shin goon garuba jacob all of the young guys all of the guys that are veterans as well, like Daniel Tice, Eric Gordon, John Wall, what do you think they are going to do with the John Wall trade, Eric Gordon trade, or the performances behind DJ Augustine and Daniel Tice? You know we're getting a 35-point, 40-point game probably from Jalen Green. It's going to come unexpected, and we're all going to love it, and Rockets Twitter will go absolutely nuts. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day.